Michigan is now less than two months away from election day and political eyes all over the country are on our race for governor. Republican Tudor Dixon is challenging Governor Gretchen Whitmer at the top of our November ballot. The governor has campaigned heavily on her record in Lansing and her ability to work with Republicans in the legislature. At tonight, News Channel 3's Maria Serrano joins us live in studio. And Maria, you just returned from an event where some lifelong Republicans say they're supporting Governor Whitmer's re-election. Andy, Erica, a small group of self-described moderate Republicans launched Republicans for Whitmer today in Grand Rapids. Those who spoke believe the governor has a strong vision for the state and is focused on finding common ground with Republicans. Hey, how are you? Hey, hey, hey. Governor Gretchen Whitmer hugs Thank you. and kisses a group of unlikely supporters in Grand Rapids tonight. Republicans who say they want her to serve four more years. When you have somebody who's been a state representative, a state senator, a governor for four years, it certainly warrants and supports, and that's why this Republican movement is going to grow and is being launched today. Flanked by former Battle Creek Mayor and State Senator Joe Schwartz, Whitmer says she believes there is more that unites Republicans and Democrats than what divides them. I think that there are a lot of people in our state who maybe have never voted for a Democrat before who are worried about losing their personal rights to their own bodies or who are worried about the state of our democracy, who support public education. These are people that we want to reach out to. Jim Haveman served as a director for Michigan's Community Health Department under two Republican governors. He doesn't believe Republican nominee Tudor Dixon is the right person for the job. I know what government could do to make this state better. And I just haven't seen a platform from uh, the candidate to make a difference. Dixon declined an interview with News Channel 3. Her campaign did send a statement saying, quote, today's Republican Party is one that believes parents should be in charge. Police should be supported and empowered to protect our communities. And regulations and taxes should be cut for economic growth. We'll take their support over Lansing's big government cocktail crowd any day of the week. We have a choice to make, and it is just a stark one as we think about what the next four years in Michigan mean. The governor also met with supporters and other Democratic candidates for office at a Grillin' with Gretchen event in Grand Rapids tonight. Tudor Dixon is holding plans to unveil a $1 billion public safety plan at an event in Grand Rapids tomorrow afternoon. And just take a look at your screens. Michigan's midterm election is on November 8th. Absentee voting starts September 29th. You can request your absentee ballot through the Secretary of State's office right now. I am live in studio, Maria Serrano, News Channel 3.